This video demonstrates the proper disassembly and reassembly process to be followed during LR125 maintenance. The specially engineered flow path, metal plug, and supported diaphragm design makes the LR125 highly resistant to damage and allows smooth performance under a wide range of process conditions. Maintenance of your LR125 should be conducted in accordance with your process conditions and maintenance guidelines. During reassembly, make sure to closely inspect the O-rings and diaphragm. They can be damaged by upset conditions and high velocity solid particulates in the flow path. For disassembly and reassembly, you will need the combination wrenches listed, a Phillips or flathead screwdriver, and anti-seize lubricant. First, depressurize the system. If you have yet to do so, refer to the LR125 shutdown video for the proper depressurization steps. Disconnect the supply pressure line. Disconnect the control line. Remove the travel indicator assembly. Remove all cap screws. Lift up and remove the bonnet from the body. Remove the diaphragm assembly. Insert the screwdriver through the top plug, then remove the flange nut. Remove the bottom plug, bottom plug o-ring, and diaphragm. For reassembly, begin by inspecting the bottom plug o-ring. A good o-ring is circular with consistent thickness around the perimeter. A damaged o-ring will have flat spots or cuts on its surface caused by upset conditions, severe service, and long-term operation. Replace if damage is noted. Inspect the diaphragm. A damaged diaphragm will have tears, pinches, or blowouts on the diaphragm surface typically caused by upset conditions, high velocity solid particulates, or long-term operation. Replace if damage is noted. Inspect, lubricate, and install the O-ring and top plug O-ring. When inspecting, look for the same signs of damage as the bottom O-ring. Lubricate both the top and bottom outer edge of the diaphragm and the bottom plug O-ring. Then install. Install the bottom plug and flange nut. Insert the screwdriver through the top plug, then tighten the flange nut to secure the diaphragm assembly. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the appropriate value. Place the diaphragm assembly on top of the cage. Install the bonnet and tighten all cap screws in an even crisscross pattern to prevent damaging the bonnet. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the appropriate value. Attach the travel indicator assembly. Use a torque wrench to tighten to the appropriate value. Connect the supply pressure line. Finally, attach the control line. Your LR125 is now ready for operation. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. If you have any questions, contact your local Fisher representative or visit us online.